Millie and Jalisa. Hi, ladies. Hi. Boy, you can't tell their mother and daughter, no. can you? Look at them. <laughs> cute. So cute in the same face. Beautiful. So basically, I'm 20 years old. I just graduated college. I have a full time Congratulations. job. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. I'm going to my graduate. <laughs> I'm doing graduate school, but I still live with my parents. And my mom is very protective, to say the least. You know, I have to come home early. You know, most 20-year-olds, 21-year-olds, they're coming home 10 o'clock, 10.30. She's like, 7.30, you gotta be home. This is no. Whoa. Yeah. Um, she'll Man, I and... stayed out later now when I was 12. So <laughs> I, do kind of, I do kind of feel for her a little bit. <laughs> um, so she'll see on the news, oh, there's a heat wave. She'll call me like, you gotta come home right now. The trains are gonna shut down. Things are gonna happen. She but... loves you. She'll call me like every couple of minutes, like, are you okay? What are you doing? Where are you guys going? And I'm like, I'm trying to be an adult and get to like try to form myself into an adult because I recognize I'm not there yet. But it's like, I can't, I feel like I can't do that without her like being very protective of me and like trying to come down on me. Dr. Drew and Rachel, I trust my daughter. It's just so many things are happening in the news with young ladies and whatnot. So my nerves get the best of me and so does my anxiety. So if I l l hear her voice, I'm okay. You know, it's funny, I was watching a series about serial killers in the 70s and I thought, oh, that's why we parented like that. We right. heard all this stuff growing right. up. Yeah. But it's not healthy for our kids to overdo or to make them responsible for our anxiety, right? That's not good for them. Remember when she was two and she'd run to the playground yeah. and then come back, go, mommy, mommy, here's what I did. That's the same thing that starts to happen as they get into young adulthood, believe it or not. But they have to go out on their own and they have to fall down. You have to let them get in the world because she's a competent young lady. She'll be Thank fine. You. She's but in grad school at 20. Oh, That's I mean, it's incredible. But, yeah. but you need to manage your anxiety, okay. right? So to do that, I'm wondering if you could find five friends that you could start calling when you start to catastrophize, right? You have catastrophe in your head, right? <laughs> like, it's the end of the world, yeah. tomorrow. She, she yeah. has to call me in an hour, right? She must be dead, it's over. You, that catastrophizing is just your anxiety. It's not real. And if you could take and reflect to a friend that really is supportive to you, even if you could find two or three out of that five, it could really help you allow her to Make do the she... phone call, but call someone else. Get somebody oh. in your corner to help you manage your anxiety so you're not putting it on her. Does that make okay, sense? Okay, got it, got it. Can I you... mean, if she doesn't come home and it's midnight, be on the phone to the cops. <laughs> and, and, and if you want her to, and if you want her as a matter of sort of, I, I understand there are like different culturally sensitive issues that people need to pay attention to, yes. right? And, yes. and I, wanna, I wanna pay complete respect to that and say maybe you call once a night at 8.30 or something, there's a specified time you agree. That's sweet I'll make too. A check in. If, if right. you did a, a Hey, Mom, I'm thinking of you. I want you to know exactly. I'm okay. That's so, sweet. So you can play a role in making yeah, this work. I still work try her. to do that, like text her, like, I'm here, this is what I'm doing. But even then, she's still calling me, like, I need to hear. Like, I'll text her and she'll call me 20 minutes, like, two minutes later, like, okay, I need, I need to hear She doesn't get to do that anymore. Don't okay. do it on a date, though. That's creepy. No, no, I won't do it. <laughs>